If you're looking for the best robot kit here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Lego Boost Creative Toolbox. We recommend the Lego Boost Creative Toolbox above just about anything else on the market if you're looking to get your kids started with robotics. This kit starts slow, guiding you through simple projects that gradually increase in complexity until you've made some truly impressive creations. The block-based graphical coding interface is intuitive and easy to use, and the Boost Creative Toolbox comes with clear and detailed directions for assembling each of the five main models. It's a very approachable kit even for complete beginners, inspiring confidence in young roboticists as they advance and unlock more levels. This kit does a great job of blending both structured play and leaving plenty of spots for creative expression. Previous electronics knowledge is not necessary on the Boost platform. Troubleshooting is made easy, and there's plenty of room for expansion with additional LEGO products once you've exhausted the 60 plus activities included in the set. Those activities range from building a robot sheriff with a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher to an automated factory that makes miniature LEGO creations. The design and structured activities of the Boost Creative Toolbox are fantastic for beginners, but they are geared towards younger kids. The cutesy design of the Boost projects is less appealing to older middle schoolers. Moving on to the next at number two with Make Block M Bot. If LEGO-based robotics aren't your thing, have a look at the Make Block M Bot as an introductory robotics kit. This kit gives you direct exposure to commonplace components in industrial robots and is still user-friendly in a way that's approachable for a total novice. The step-by-step -step 3D instructions are easy to follow, with the app providing gamified lessons once you have the MBOT built. It also comes pre-programmed with three different operating modes, allowing you to hit the ground running the moment you finish building it. However, the MBOT is a little less user-friendly and requires more dexterity to assemble than Legos or other snap-together plastic parts because it uses standard metric machine screws. Some of the more intricate aspects of the assembly will likely necessitate the assistance of an adult. We wish this set included a pair of needle-nose pliers. Although you can cover quite a lot of ground with just its stock configuration, it's a bit more challenging to customize your MBOT without purchasing additional components. We think the MBOT is a great choice if your kids are already doing LEGO robotics at school and want a change of pace, or if you're seeking a kit that can supply a much broader base of understanding in mechatronics provided you don't mind a slightly steeper learning curve and purchasing some add-on components. The number three position is held by Sphero Mini. If you find the advanced robot kits for kids to be intimidating or if you want to introduce programming at the elementary school level, the Sphero Mini is our go-to. It doesn't take much technical knowledge to get started and offers a nice progression in terms of skills. You can start by controlling it remotely and then build up to writing programs to direct its actions and incorporate sensor input, such as having it stop when it hits a wall or say ouch when it rolls off a drop. Sparrow packs a surprising amount of sensors into a very portable package and gives you a ton of programming power at a fairly low price. Keeping your kid interested and engaged with the Sparrow Mini may take some creativity on your part. There's not a lot included with the package, only some miniature bowling pins and traffic cones, and there isn't a clear progression of skills laid out. This gives you ample opportunity to challenge your kids to think creatively, such as creating both a maze out of cardboard and writing a program that lets the Sparrow Mini solve it, or perhaps using the canvas feature to literally paint a picture with your robot. However, if you are shopping on a budget, this is a fantastic robot kit for kids to get them excited about computer science and coding. Next at number four, we have 4M Tinkin Robot. If you're looking for an inexpensive and approachable way to introduce the concept of hands-on robotics to your kids, the 4M Tinkin Robot is a great place to start. A repurposed soda can is used for the robot's body, which can be a good foundation to introduce concepts related to recycling in addition to some basic mechanical and electrical lessons. It's fairly easy to put together, only taking an hour or two to assemble and offers kids a chance to express their creativity by decorating the can. Unfortunately, once you are done building it, there isn't much to do with this robot. The only way you can control its motion is to move it forward in a straight line. Changing how the eyes and arms are posed is the only other interactive aspect. All other activities are going to have to come from your imagination. 
This robot kit lets you foster an interest in robotics and test the water with a low cost option before investing in a more expensive product. However, we have a feeling its appeal will fade out rather quickly. The number five position is held by Nintendo Labo Variety Kit. If you struggle to peel your child away from their Nintendo Switch, then the Nintendo Labo Variety Kit might be the perfect option. Nintendo created a surprisingly fun and interactive learning environment that charts out a natural progression of activities in increasing complexity, going so far as to even have built in assessments to determine if you have been paying attention. There are five different projects, each with clear and easy directions to follow, as well as ideas on how you can expand and customize them to continue learning and playing once you build them. Nintendo does a great job of walking you through how everything works using interactive dialogue with your virtual Labo development team. On top of all that, it also has a graphical drag and drop interface to introduce programming and algorithmic thinking. While overall we found the Nintendo Labo to be quite impressive, it's not without its flaws. The innovative cardboard-based construction is cool, but it lacks the durability of plastic or metal robots. One spilled glass of juice could effectively ruin most of the parts. The tab and slot construction will also wear out over time if you frequently assemble and disassemble your cardboard creations, and potential for expansion is limited. Nintendo doesn't currently make any hardware expansions, and you have no way of integrating any third-party motors or sensors. The number six position is dominated by MakeBlock Ultimate 2.0. If you're seeking a robot kit for kids that goes well beyond programming Legos, the MakeBlock M-Bot Ultimate 2.0 is the kit for you. This kit has 550 plus pieces and has directions for 10 different robots, including a robot tank with a gripper arm, a catapult, a walking ant, and even a camera dolly. It comes with a variety of different sensors and can be programmed with both graphical blocks or text-based coding in Python and is compatible with both Arduino and Raspberry Pi. This kit is versatile enough that you could work for hundreds of hours on projects without duplicating anything. You also have plenty of potential to expand beyond what's included in the kit with compatible add-on components from MakeBlock or third-party parts off the shelf. Beginners may find this kit to be quite complex and intimidating. There are tons of small parts and it requires lots of skill to assemble. The documentation isn't the clearest, so troubleshooting can be challenging compared to other models. It will also take up considerable space and time to assemble projects with this. So it's probably not a kit that you want to pull out for only an hour or two on a rainy afternoon. It's an absolutely fantastic option for kids who already have a more advanced level of understanding of electromechanical systems or if you are willing to invest lots of time assisting and guiding them. Moving on to the next at number 7 with LEGO Mindstorms EV3. While we generally would recommend the LEGO Boost for young robot engineers just starting out, the more advanced LEGO Mindstorms EV3 also has its merits, especially if your kids are aspiring or currently participating in the first robotics LEGO League, FLL. FLL teams are common at schools around the country, and the Mindstorms EV3 set gives you a head start since it uses the same fundamental components and programming environment as the LEGO sets used in competition. Even if your child doesn't plan to compete in FLL, the Mindstorms EV3 is a fantastic option for older kids who might tire quickly from the activities laid out in the Boost app. And it's a kit that an aspiring roboticist won't outgrow right away. The Mindstorms EV3, unfortunately, does have a few flaws. While it is a versatile kit with plenty of potential for tons of interactive lessons and play, you are limited to LEGO products. It is also one of the priciest kits we've tested. We are huge fans of the Mindstorm's EV3 system and programming environment with hundreds of thousands of children getting their first taste of engineering design, robotics, and programming through FLL each year. That said, it can get expensive because you'll be locked into LEGO products for further expansions, which won't be cheap. The number eight position is held by Uptech Jimu Buzzbot and Muttbot. The Uptech Jimu Buzzbot and Muttbot kit is another robotics kit that uses proprietary plastic bricks as its main construction method. Although the pen and hull components might resemble some of the other kits, the tab and slots that attach to the servos on the Jimu set them apart from the rest. It's a fairly easy kit to put together as long as you're careful to match up the servo orientation and their ID code to what's shown in the 3D models in the app. Once you have either the BuzzBot or the MuttBot assembled, you can use the graphical programming interface in the Jimu app to create your own routines. There's a library of community-created designs available through the app, so you also don't have to worry about being limited to these two creations. 
you're also able to create your own design from scratch. Unfortunately, the building method seems to be less friendly for little hands that aren't as dexterous. It comes with just enough servos to build the BuzzBot and the MuttBot at the same time. We also feel the lack of included sensors dampens the programming activities you can do. The JSD connectors used to connect the various servos to the main hub seem somewhat delicate, and if they are pulled out carelessly, we could imagine them becoming damaged. Next at number 9, we have Elegoo Uno Project Smart Car Kit V3.0. The Elegoo Smart Robot Car V3.0 is a solid four-wheel drive robot car with most of the basic sensors you'd want, lots of potential for further expansions, and the ability to drive over rougher terrain than other models it can easily handle most carpeted floors. It's programmable in both Elegoo's mobile app or the Arduino development environment and is also compatible with a wide variety of components from third-party suppliers. The smart robot Car V3.0 comes programmed right out of the box for obstacle avoidance, line following, and remote control either from the IR remote control or the mobile app. Unfortunately, we didn't find the documentation to be the best, and the included assembly instructions are somewhat difficult to follow. It also takes a bit more dexterity to put the smart robot car together. It's helpful if you have your own tools, like needle nose pliers or tweezers, because none are included in the kit. The programming interface through the app is decently intuitive, but there isn't a set series of tutorials or skill progressions for you to easily figure things out on your own. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Silbert STEM 12-in-1. The Silbert STEM 12-in-1 is a very inexpensive but limited kit that is powered by the sun. Its electrical system consists of a single solar panel and a motor that can be configured in up to you guessed it 12 different ways. These include rolling, walking, and even swimming creations, making this kit a great option for young scientists and engineers that are just starting, particularly if they have an interest in renewable energy or green technology. Although the Silbert STEM 12-in-1 is a great option to pique a child's interest, you might find that it has a hard time maintaining that interest. It doesn't matter which 12 forms you build, you can't control this robot at all. If there is sufficient solar energy, it is limited to solely driving forward in a straight line. The assembly process particularly of the gearbox can also be very hard, especially for kids of the age that this would most appeal to. It may take an adult more time to cut all the pieces out of their frames and clean them up than a kid will actually spend playing with this product. It isn't the most intuitive to use these parts for your own creations, and its inability to run without sufficient sunlight can really put a damper on creative play. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.